Hello all, my name is Krishnaik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to generate a text generation uh, application with the help of GPT-2 algorithm, guys. So let's proceed and let's try to see that how we can actually do it. <clears throat> now, this particular application is pretty much simple. And if you don't know about GPT-2, again, it is a state of art algorithm. Transfer learning with respect to NLP task, we can actually do it like text summarization, question answers, like question answer application and many more applications as such. So let's try to see this over here. Now, in order to work this, I'm just doing this in Google Colab. Don't try to do it in local because you really need to do a lot of installation. So quickly, we'll try to do this in Google Colab and try to complete this entire video within four to five minutes. Okay. So first of all, and again, this entire application will be developed uh, in uh, with the help of Gradio so that uh, you don't have to worry about the front end part itself. Right. So first of all, we will install Gradio and then we'll also install the transformers. Remember, for GPT-2, if you really want to use it, it is present inside Transformer. So let's proceed and let's do this installation. And right now I'm doing this in Google Colab Pro. You can also do it in Google Colab. Okay, in Google Colab also it will work. But I've taken the subscription of Google Colab Pro, then why not use it, you know? <laughs> uh, because if it keeps on running for a longer period of time, it gets disconnected, you know? The, the runtime basically gets disconnected. So this will probably take uh, around a couple of minutes. And once this is done, this is the first part that you are trying to import and install all the libraries that is actually required. And now this is done, okay? Coming to the next one, I'm importing Gradio, I'm importing TensorFlow, and I'm importing Transformers. And in Transformer, we'll be using these two models. One is GPT-2 tokenizer and uh, TF GPT-2 LM head model. Okay, so let me quickly do it. Okay, and detailed explanation, I'm not going into it, guys, since I just wanted to show you the power of GPT-2. Okay, then uh, uh, in order to initialize GPT-2, we'll be using this GPT-2 tokenizer because initially we need to tokenize our input data. And we are going to use the GPT-2 model. If you want to use a powerful model, use this GPT-2-XL. I'll give you this entire notebook. You can do it. So from pre-trained, I'm going to use GPT-2. Then after that, we are basically going to use this uh, head model dot from pre-trained GPT-2 with a pad token ID. Okay, so different types of token ID are there. Right now, I've just used uh, end of sentence token ID. That basically means at the end of the sentences to make it at a uh, familiar length will try to add some kind of padding techniques over there. Okay, will not add it at the starting of the sentence. Suppose if I say that my sentence length is fixed around 15 should be the length and suppose if a sentence is eight, the length is eight, then remaining step seven, I'll try to add a pad and it will be added at the end. Okay, so that is what we have done over here. So <clears throat> this will get executed and it will get downloaded it. Okay, so all the all the uh, models that is basically required like GPT-2, it will get downloaded, it will be saved in the local, uh, in this particular Google Colab environment itself, right? So the downloading will take place and probably it will take some amount of time, again, we'll wait. Okay, once this is done, now you can see that all the layers of were initialized from the model checkpoint at GPT-2. If your task is similar to the task, the model of the checkpoint was trainer, you can already use this particular model for prediction. Then I'm actually also going to create a function which is called a generate text. Inside this, we'll be using this tokenizer and then we'll try to encode the input string. And remember, we'll try to return it in the form of a tensors of TensorFlow. Okay, after encoding, how we have to return it, that is what it basically says. And then we have to use model.generate. I'll give my input IDs after the encoding. Max length, I'm keeping it as 100, number of beams, no repeat ng grams, early stopping is equal to true. These are some of the features that we'll try to put. Then in the output, we'll try to decode the entire text summarization. And finally, we'll return the output. Okay, so let's execute this function. Now, I hope everybody has known about Gradio because I've already made a detailed video regarding them. So here, we'll try to create an interface. In the interface, first of all, I'll be having one output text box. And then generate text will be my function, which will be generating through this, which is using model.predict or model.generate. Then my output title will be this. Uh, I'm going to use a text box over here and my output text box will be my output where my output will get displayed and some description over here. So let's execute this. Now, once we execute it, you'll be able to see with the help of Gradio an amazing end-to-end -end application. <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to see a lot of things over here. Okay, now this has got loaded. Now, let me ask some questions because uh, this is just like a text uh, uh, summarization, I guess. Uh, yes, text summarization. So let me just say that 
probably I'll say our machines our machine sorry text summarization no it is a sentence generation okay sentence generation should be the task I'm extremely sorry uh, this task is about sentence generation and we are going to generate the sentence so our machine intelligent than human beings okay so I'm just going to write this particular question let's see how it generates the sentence so I'm just going to click on submit it will probably take some time you can see it is getting loaded guys quickly okay and then it is going to happen 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 is going to generate the sentence probably it will take 20 seconds see open is an unsupervised machine learning model that can generate now here is your answer ask machine intelligent that human being the answer to this question is resounding yes the problem is that machine intelligence is not the same as human intelligence machine intelligence does not know what is going on in the world but it does what is it is doing something it knows what it wants to do and it will do it that is what it makes so powerful so this example that we are seeing is just like your sentence generation i just gave one sentence over here it understood like this and it completed this entire sentence isn't it amazing and just you can see within 18 seconds you are able to give it now i know gpt2 is a state of art algorithm guys should we use it for a common scenario should we use for a use case it depends most of the company which wants to do some of its tasks will not be directly dependent on gpt2 instead they'll try to create it from scratch why because of the latency this gpt2 is a huge model altogether different type of tasks tasks it is basically taking and the response type is very very much important so this was just an example of gpt2 just try it out i'll just try to share you this entire collab link and just uh, try to do different different try to write different different uh, questions over here suppose i'll say uh, uh, how did the universe come into existence okay so this is my uh, I'm just want to uh, complete this sentence and I'll just try to click on submit again. It will take somewhere around 18 seconds. Let's see. Okay. Quickly. Hey, we have to wait. Can't help. So I hope it should happen. Yes. How did the universe come into existence? The answer to this question is simple. The universe was created by the law of nature. This, that, that, that's right. So pretty much amazing you are able to get this particular answer okay so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed we'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one doll and i'll be coming up with more different different kind of examples as we go ahead thank you i'll see you in the next video Bye bye